The ongoing drought has hit schools hard. In some parts of the country, children go to school hungry. Wawiranjiro established Food for Education in 2012 to address the inequality in food access and education for Kenyan children. Today, Food for Education is feeding over 100,000 children in public primary schools across the country. Ahead of International Women's Day, we celebrate Wanjiranjiro, a nutritionist who is feeding the future. Mukarara Primary School in Dagoretti North constituency, Nairobi County. It's 12.30 p.m. Little boys and girls carry their lunch boxes to the lunch serving station. All of them wear orange wristbands. These are scanned and then lunch is served. We subsidize the meals to ensure that more children have access to the meals. So the cost of the meal is about 30 to 35 shillings, depending on the ingredients. Sometimes it goes really higher, uh, up to 45 because of food costs and the differences. But parents consistently pay 15 shillings uh, so that we're not alternating their price. Uh, and that 15 shilling is to ensure that there's a parent contribution, but also that it, it's helping us become more sustainable. So they contribute through M-Pesa, so all our contributions is uh, cashless. We developed a technology called Tap to Eat. So this technology allows parents to just top up at home. You can top up 15 shillings, you can top up 30, whatever amount you have. Um, it's free, so it's zero rated. So it's a free, there are no transaction charges. And once you top up, the child has the wristband that debits the, um, the account. Food for Education provides subsidized nutritious meals to primary school children to improve nutrition and education outcomes. We started, it was like 25, 50 children. And then when we started serving more kids, and it was a central kitchen model, so where the food is not being cooked in each school. So there's some schools that were like, you know, will the food be hot? Will it be safe? Will it be tasty, like all these questions, why not build a kitchen here? So there was a lot of questions around the central kitchen model, but we explained around efficiency, around temperature checks, around making sure that the meals are delivered on time. And today we are at, I think, um, over 100,000, so close to 130 or 140,000 children. And that's inclusive of the ECD children in Moranga and Mombasa counties, who through partnerships with those county governments are getting either lunch or porridge every single day. Um, and in total, we have around 800 ECD centers in those two counties. And then the other primary schools are over 100. So we're in primary schools and ECD centers in other counties like Kisumu, um, Nairobi, all these other counties. High quality food directly sourced from local farmers is prepared in a central kitchen as per internationally recognized food safety standards. This is one of the central kitchens. Food is then packed and dispatched to other schools. We, we usually have a thermometer where we measure the food. Also, our, our trucks are uh, improvised and where, the, where they retain the heat. By the time the food gets to the school, the food is still hot. Okay, so for the, the total population for this school is 700, whereby five, 550 kids are feeding uh, in the program. Uh, this specific kitchen, we are feeding around 13,000 kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, 26 schools, where the father school is Kasarani. Here in this primary school, the kitchen staff are mostly women. They too are mothers of children who go to school here. chakula iko cheap. Si kama hapo kitambo. Nilikuwa naangaika, nipike chakula, nimpakie, atakula chakula ikiwa baridi. But sahi anapata chakula ikiwa moto, anasikia hako sawa. Juu chakula baridi tena nae uwe ilikuwa inamsumbua tumbo. International Women's Day 2023 will be celebrated under the theme Digital, Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality. Food for Education is using technology, smart supply chain, operations and logistics to deliver high-quality nutritious meals. Without Tap to Eat, we wouldn't have been able to scale to as many children. Um, so having that technology backboard that allows us to partner with parents is really important. Technology can really play a big role across different multiple services across, across the world and across the country. And where women are leading, technology can help accelerate the impact. Apart from keeping children in school, the impact of a school meal impacts the economy as a whole, from the jobs created 
to the smallholder farmers that supply fresh food. The reality is that many children in Kenya go to school hungry every day. Research shows that improved nutrition in schools leads to increased focus and academic performance. And this is the difference that Food for Education is making across the country.